Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dark Cloud 2. Just as a reminder, we are now splitting the... I don't know why I keep saying we. It's because it's your Let's Play 2 and the Akamar is usually with me. But uh, I am splitting these episodes into two parts, or... Boy, that was very badly worded. I meant there are two versions of these episodes that are coming out. One is the uncut version, and one is the cut version. The cut version will have the red Pyro Falcon logo in the corner. The uncut version will have the green Pyro Falcon logo in the corner of the thumbnail. So please make sure you are on the correct version, because I don't want to waste your time. So in the last episode, we were asked to go into the forest to look for a mysterious woman named Holly. And once we find Holly, the dwarf-like furbits will help us out with their powers of being able to build stuff, which is cool because that's what we need to do. And this is the first floor of the forest, so if you are watching the cut version, then we are going... I am going to, uh... Oh, God, no! Shit! Damn it! Uh, I didn't want to... I, uh, I didn't want that to happen. I was going for a, uh... I was going for a challenge of beating all the enemies with Monica, so that is why I am annoyed, but it is okay. It is not game over. Now, if Max goes down at this point, it will be game over. I need to give him... Ah, jeez. Do it again. He always has an extra little bit of delay when he does a sideways swipe like that instead of a vertical. I need to give Max all of the food now. Man. All right. I may have to grind sooner than I anticipated because if, uh... We're gonna need money for supplies. We're, we're going to need anti-poison items. We're going to need... Uh, standard healing items, we're going to need level ups, we're going to need elemental crystals, I mean, we need everything. So, I, I'm, I may have to do some, some grinding for the, uh, the uncut version. Ugh, some enemies react to being hit, some, like the skeleton, can resist you hitting them, so you always have to be careful. Alright, so there is a way past this web. I don't remember what it is. The fairy saw is the key to exit this place, but I don't... Oh, it's the locust, isn't it? No? Slash branch. Branch for slashing cobwebs out of the way. That's it. I mean, at this point, I don't even know why I'm finishing out the, love the floor. Unless it's just to get some experience points, which... Would not be a bad thing. Also, you can tell, consistently, Monica is stronger than Max, too. She's got more hit points. Her attacks are stronger. She's she's a freaking beast. Hey, two repair powder. That's what we consumed during this fight. During this floor. Come on, dude. Oh. Man, I am going to have to grind a little bit. I definitely need to do something about the ride pod, too, because it's... Yeah, thank you, Max. Um, all right, we can just get the hell out of here. Because the ride pod is still at the week. Oh, shit, I forgot to look up freaking a guide like I said I was going to do. Oh, opening Chrome is usually a problem when I'm recording. Oh, no. I may uh, open it on my phone instead. Since I'll be using my phone anyway when I have to do stuff. All right. Um... Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get out of here, and we're going to see if there are any cut scenes, and if not, those of you watching the cut version are going to... Uh, whoa. That kind of freaked out, but that's fine. Everything's fine. What is that? Prickly bait? Oh, yeah. Eventually, there's... You can fish. I, I'm not doing any fishing here. I hate fishing mini games. Fishing mini games are in every freaking game. I just want to move on, so... Uh, you know, I, I hope you all understand, like, it's it's partly for the show. Um, if, if I'm playing this myself, then I would sort of absorb myself in the world and do whatever. 
Um, but I want to kind of hurry things along for the sake of the show. All right, so if you're watching the cut version, I'm going to go get some supplies, get some stuff repaired, and possibly even grind a couple times. If you're watching the uncut version, stick around. All right, so now we're going to get the hell out of here. I actually do want that challenge, so I'm probably going to go back in. I just need more repair powder and more anti-poison stuff. I had some anti-poison stuff. I saw it blinking, but um, I just didn't care. Man, I forget what these guys can do. Ride pod parts sales. Repair. So you can just straight up repair. Okay, Cedric still needs like hundreds of um of uh experience points here all right yeah there there's a lot of grinding in the future there is a lot of grinding you guys <laughs> if i want to get everything i want right Boost item acquisition when you defeat a monster. That's useful. All right. Well, Monica's not... Oh, she fully heals? Oh, dude, I forgot that they fully healed between battles. Oh, man. Um... All right, I'm gonna, uh... Quickly mention... I'm gonna quickly go back to the cut version for a second. So one of the things I forgot about the mechanics, among a million things I've forgotten about the mechanics, is when you speak to people out in the world, you can add them to your party. You can only add one NPC, but they have some very powerful abilities. Eric, for example, it says makes bombs. So we're going to add Eric to the team. And now he's down there. And he can makes bomb for 32 points. And you can just call that up, I think, I can do it from here, but you can also do it from a dungeon? Maybe you have to do it from a dungeon. Let's bring Eric with us. Eventually, we'll be filling up the train with a whole bunch of people that we can bring with us to various adventures. And they stay on the train until you put them in a house. And even once you put them in a house, you can move them back to the train temporarily in order to move them to a different section. And you basically sort of have a moving shop that will follow you to every dungeon, which is kind of cool. And of course, again, all those mechanics will be in future episodes. Right now we're still kind of in tutorial land, and for me, I'm in grinding land. I always feel guilty when I have nothing to say um, because I feel like I'm betraying a Let's Play. Even though, I've mentioned before, I've had that one, uh, I had one particular person who, uh, got upset at me for talking too much in a Let's Play, and I'm like, it's a Let's Play. I, it's not a no commentary stream, it's, it's a Let's Play. Alright, usually I put, I think I usually sort it like that, right? What do I do? Oh, I sort it like that, so usable items are first. There we go. All right, let's try this challenge again. I didn't see how much money I got from the last run. Eh, a couple hundred, it's not bad. I do remember when I played this game before, I looked at every dungeon run in terms of how much money I got from it, like whether the whether the run was profitable or not. And early on, especially in the first dungeon, most of your runs are not profitable, uh, which is a problem. So you have to do a lot of grinding to catch those up. All right, Monica, let's check the status of your sword. Three, okay. Well, I guess this time I'll spectrumize by three, so. Let's see if this is enough. Now, this is one thing I will not look up, at least not at first. Uh, there are 
places on the FAQs where you can see exactly what you need from for what weapon and what they do, and I don't want to know. I want it to be a surprise. There we go. So Cyclone is no longer blinking. Um, so I don't know which of those crystals, whether I only needed one or two or if I did need all three. So we'll work on Exorcism on its next level up. Um... But yeah, I I don't want the surprise ruined for me of what the weapons look like. I think that'll be kind of cool for me. I found an unknown bone. Monica's alternate attack is a magic attack, and her magic attacks are more, um... Why won't you die? There we go. Jeez. Uh, Monica's magic attacks are the most, uh, elemental thing in the game. So, at first, when you tap the button, she throws fire. But if you put in, uh, enough points to change the element of her bracelet, it changes its, uh, animation too. So you can see flame is at 10, everything else is at 0. So if I put in enough points that chill overtook flame, then she would start throwing ice out of the thing, which is super cool. No pun intended. All right, do I have anything that I can use for exorcism? Oh, holy power, got it, probably. Yep, exorcism, okay. There we go. Cool, and now, so exorcism is the only thing blinking, attack is no longer blinking, so we need to find more holy crystals or other items that have holy attributes. Anything can be spectrumized, I think I can spectrumize a frickin' antidote drink if I want to. Yeah, but it does scale rather than exorcism, so that doesn't help me very much. Ooh, but holy water might work. The question always is, do you want to sacrifice a usable item for powering up a weapon, especially since you don't know how many, uh, what, how many, um, items you will need to fully power the weapon up? Uh, but again, I, I want to do that one without looking at a guide. I think that's more fun. And the more you grind, the more crystals you find, and all of that nonsense, so... Um, this is why, uh, I actually read a review about Dark Cloud 2... Uh, where the reviewer said that they didn't particularly like the game because of how long the dungeons were. And I understand that. Like I said, this is this is an 88-hour RPG when I played. And I think I'm an average gamer when it comes to lengths of games like this. In fact, usually anytime anyone cites an average, you know, this game takes X number of hours to beat. Um, it is almost always uh, a... Uh, like, it, I almost always fall right in that average. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what the exact average of uh, Dark Cloud 2 is, but I do know that for me it took over 80 hours, but I also tried to do a lot. Um, there's kind of a golf mini game you're eventually going to get to. I hate the golf mini, ga um, the golf mini game. Um, so the first time I played it, I actually tried to do a lot of the golf mini game, and this time around I'm just gonna say fuck it. There is going to be a point where you have to do it once or twice. Uh, I know one time that you do it is the tutorial uh, version of it. Um, so you'll ha I'll have to do it at one point, but, you know. Crap. No, 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 don't switch! I got excited and clicked the left stick. I was just trying to do a backflip. Doing the side jump is a little bit tougher in this game than it is in Zelda. But, uh, which is why I was backflipping there for a second, because didn't want to get struck by the poison. There's a bomb. Oh yeah, speaking of bombs, let's see if we can do the character thing now. Oh, make bomb. My bombs are the best. Get bombs. Looks pretty good. Get bombs. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now, in our pocket, we have 
six improved bombs, and I can sell those if I want to for... I better cut, snap cut back in for the cut version. So I've done that with Eric. Now I've got six bombs in my pocket, which are immediately usable. And, uh, or I could sell them later for some cash, and that's a good way early on that you can get some money. You just bring in Eric or, or the other guy and make bombs or ore, and then go back to town and sell it. Now, I consumed all of his, whoops, all of his skill points to do that. So we can go to Eric again. You can see he has skill point zero out of 64. I don't know how those go up exactly, but I know that it's based on time. I don't know if the character has to be inactive or if it just eventually goes up. Um, I guess I can keep an eye on Eric for a minute here, but I think he has to be inactive. I think I have to put him back on the train before he'll gain his points back. So it behooves you when you're trying to uh, save up early or collect enough items to uh, revisit the train every single time that you uh, that you finish a floor of the dungeon, which is another reason why the game can take a while to play and all that stuff will be eliminated from the cut version. Hmm, still a bunch of enemies left. Well, that's fine. We'll get some stuff out of the deal. Have we gotten any more light crystals? No. What do I do if I spectrumize the bombs? I get flame, of course I do. All right. I really want to show off Monica's magic attacks a bit. Plus, it's her magic attacks are super useful against the um, against the plant monsters that spit at you. So I really want to be using that right now. But her sword is very strong, especially thanks to the grinding. And uh, you know, it's fine. I want to do my challenge while I'm here. Come on, attack! Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to block, you just need to circle strafe. I don't know what I'm going to do about the ride pod. Um, I mean, I suppose if we, if I have to do a full grinding session, then I can do that on stream or something. Um, something that will take several hours to do. But I just... I, I know I'm going to feel... If not bad, then at least a little awkward if I do any streaming of this game. Um, even if I cut it up and put the VOD on YouTube, I think it would be a little awkward. Excellent work, Monica. Two at three enemies to go, and then you will be done, and we should have our challenge, too. Yeah, like these man-eating grasses, I hate having to get in close to fight them. But, in that case, I was able to cut them both at the same time. Good job, Monica. Looks like we got them all. Damn, girl. Got that XP. Okay, I guess we're done. Did I get the medal? I still only have two medals. Why? Do I have to not even use a single other attack? than using her sword? Like, did I, did, did I ruin this whole thing because I threw a rock at a freaking skeleton at the beginning? Attack and defeat all enemies. Oh, I ruined it because I threw a freaking rock at the skeleton. Oh, that's all right. We'll go in a third time. See, guys, this is what, this is, if you're watching this, you're watching the uncut version. This is what you get for watching the uncut version. <laughs> All right, uh, shit. I guess let's, well, no, let's hold off on that for a minute. Um. All right, let's check our characters list. Yeah, Eric is still at zero points. I, I think I need to add someone else. So, let's add Cedric to the party. 
He can repair- Oh my god, he can refuel in dungeons! Oh ho 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 ho! Gives bonus points with weapon and parts upgrades. Okay, so that doesn't help me right now. So, never mind. I'm gonna add the other guy. But that's good to know, especially for the dungeons where I'm required to use Steve. We need to use Cedric as our backup so we can refuel in, uh, in dungeon. Borneo, that's his name. Boosts item acquisition when you defeat a monster. Now, that's gonna be useful for us. So, he's passive. He doesn't have any active skills... I may as well cut in there for the cut version. Borneo doesn't have any active skills. He only has a passive skill, which is whenever we defeat monsters, uh, we get an increased chance of getting a good item. So that's what we need for now. So I'm gonna try this a third time. And I have to make sure I do not press anything but the X button while fighting. I cannot even throw rocks at monsters. Ugh. All right. The one good news is we're really powering up Monica's... Ah, oh shit. We're really powering up Monica's sword doing this, too, so... She's gonna be an even bigger threat than she is already. And she is a phenomenal threat. Okay, nothing but the sword. See, this challenge was easy with Max, because at the beginning, like, that was basically your only option. I mean, you had your gun, but it was so piddly, even at the very beginning, that, like, it just wasn't worth using. Poisoned apple, I don't know what that does. Unknown bone. I know I've got the ingredients to make bread. What you need is water, flour, and maybe a third thing. Um, ooh, that's useful. The repair powders. Getting repair powders in the field this early in the game is very, very helpful. This tre... Okay. So, here's how the way uh, trap treasure chests work. You have a 1 in 3 chance of guessing which one it is. And if you guess wrong, then the other one will trigger. So there's a strategy to this. Weapon powders are the most expensive thing this early in the game. And I have bread to heal exploding traps, and I have an uh, antidotes to heal poison traps. So I always guess that it's a weapon destroying trap because that way, if I'm wrong, I can fix either of the other two problems. If I'm right, then great, the most expensive problem is fixed. So I'm gonna say it's a weapons destroying trap. It was an exploding trap. Okay, that sucks, but just like that, the problem is fixed. At least my weapon isn't damaged. When I do episodes, I have my phone acting as my timer, or I use it as a stopwatch. And when you see me make that little hesitation move, it's because I stop running for a second in order to hit the button to stop the stopwatch. And like, I know that looks a little awkward, but I keep running during those transitions because it looks better on video. How's that for some inside stuff? I've been at this a while. At, by the time you're watching this this video, we've we have turned eight years old. Um, I've talked about before how uh, envious, jealous, whatever I am of Markiplier and Game Grumps and such, because uh, not only are their subscriber counts so much higher than mine, but like I've been at this longer than they have, and uh, I still don't have the subs. I still probably once a month, if not more often. Um, get a message, get a comment on some video that's like, you deserve more subs, and I'm like, yeah, friggin' I believe it too. Spread my name. That's how I get more subs. Because <laughs> I'm not allowed to advertise for myself in most communities. Certainly not on Reddit. Self-promotion is usually looked down on. Um, so I'm not allowed to go to, say, a Dark Cloud 2 server, uh, subreddit, and be like, hey, please watch my stuff. I do Dark Cloud 2 without any gimmicks. Um, I, I've talked about that before, just in case those of you who are watching haven't heard that. It'll give me something to chat about for a minute. Something exclusive to the uncut version. So, 
Uh, I, you always have to examine your faults as you do any sort of creative career or anything like that to not necessarily, you know, try to shit on yourself. I certainly don't examine my faults to shit on myself. But I examine my faults in order to get better because I want to get better. And one of the faults we have, I have, for this channel is that we don't have very shareable content because it's difficult to share a random episode of a random series because I do long plays, you know? Uh, most people do super cuts of things or they have some sort of gimmick that's easily shareable. There's a great video, a, a great YouTube channel out there called Not The Expert. And all he does is football video games, I think. I actually, I, I haven't subscribed to him. Maybe he does more. Maybe he does sports in general. But uh, I haven't, um, some of his videos are really easily share shareable because they have really great gimmicks attached. Like, for example, he did a video on playing one of the Maddens recently and it was like, how many seasons will it take for the Cleveland Browns to win a Super Bowl? Like, immediately, that's a great, great, easily shareable thing. Um, if you're an NFL fan, because uh, if you're an NFL fan, you know that, like, the Cleveland Browns are basically the worst team in the NFL, or they were, um, and they've been a joke for a long time. I think I double tapped there, unfortunately. I used two breads instead of one. So I was panicking. Oof. See, that's why you don't want to fight those things with close combat if you can help it. Anyway, so he has this easily shareable gimmick because it's a single video uh, contained with a single challenge that's self-explanatory. Madden 16, I think. How many, how many seasons will it take for the Browns to win a Super Bowl? And, you know, if you're interested in the NFL, you'll watch it. If you're not, you won't. But either way, you immediately grasp what the video is, how long it's going to be, what it's about, what this guy's about, and so on and so forth. Um, but none of my videos are like that except, say, the Kerbal Space Program highlight video, the uh, some of our streaming Sundays, I guess, can be like that. But even then, I don't use clickbait titles. So I think one of our best streaming Sundays that we've ever done was the Banjo-Kazooie one. But it's just titled Banjo-Kazooie, streaming Sundays number whatever. It's not got like Pyro rages at Banjo-Kazooie or Pyro... Pyro... Uh, is Banjo-Kazooie the worst game ever? Question mark. And I don't get people who hate watch it either. So... Um, you know, it's it's not easily shareable content, but at the same time, I don't want the channel to be that. So I'm in this really awkward position with it because I know what I need to do to get um, at least more shareable, more uh, search engine optimization friendly. I know what I need to do. I just don't want to do it. And I know that if I do it suddenly, then I'm probably going to alienate some of you who have been with me a while. Um, Another great example of that is I don't ever want to do... I don't I don't want to do... Ooh, yes! I got it. I got the medal. I don't want to do scary games, and I don't want to be one of those people who is constantly screaming into the microphone. I admit that it can be funny. I admit that some people really dig that style of humor, but I just don't want to do it. And... So I'm never, if I do, if suddenly I just decide, you know what, I'm going to be one of those streamers who's going to scream into the microphone, then what that's going to do is alienate everyone who doesn't like that style, who appreciates that I don't do that. All those people are going to unsubscribe and then what I'm going to be left with. So, you know, I found my niche. I'm a soft-spoken, mostly clean person who tries not to swear all that often Although I could probably work on that. And I do long plays where I don't talk over cut scenes and so on and so on. And like it or hate it, that's my style and that's what I try to do. And, you know, if you're watching this, especially if you're watching the uncut Dark Cloud 2 video, 
then I have a feeling you appreciate that style. Um, and, and those of you who have been with me for a while know about this. Like, I've, I've talked about this before. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I really don't know what to do. I don't know if there's anything I can do. I... It just is what it is, man. It just... It's just me. So... Uh, lifts curses, causes heavy damage. I haven't been cursed. Screw it. I'm gonna spectrumize it. Even if that's really expensive, I'm gonna spectrumize it. Alright, let's get exorcism up there. Glow, baby. Glow. Oh, it's still not glowing, which means it's not ready yet. I need more exorcism points on the thing. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. Water element. Oh, Georama elements. Okay. So, Georama elements are things that I'm going to eventually have to do to build stuff. So, we're not, we're not ready for that. We're not ready for any of that yet. All right, well, I guess back into the forest we go. Um, well, wait, let's go check on Eric. Let's see if his, uh, if his stuff is built back, or if his skill points, there we go, are built back up. That's one thing I've been trying to do with my language, trying to get rid of things from my vocabulary, because thing is usually not a uh, useful word. Yeah, I got some things I need to pick up from the store. I mean, you know, in in um, uh, casual speech, it's fine. But, like, can I just make a bomb here? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Done. All right. Cool. Now I can get Borneo. Um, so, uh, I, I've been trying to eliminate the word things and stuff from my vocabulary, and that's not me being a prick. Like, I've seen people online who are like, I'm trying to eliminate the word uh and um because it's a horrible filler word and uh, bad for English and bringing down the intelligence of society. Like, fuck those people. But I become cognizant of saying it, so I'm trying not to as much for the sake of the show, you know, for the sake of being a public figure or whatever. But, uh, stuff and things is similar that I just don't. Attack and defeat all enemies using only items. Not doing that. Not even trying that. Because I would need a lot more bombs than what I'm carrying. So, nope. Just no. Just all of the no. I don't know, Max. If that's all you've got to defend yourself, it's going to be pretty tough dealing with the monsters of this forest. You think so? I sure do! Here, take these! Oh, crap! What are they? You received two Hunter Crystals, two Destruction Crystals, one Wind Crystal, one Sea Dragon Crystal. Wow, all these? Yup! You can upgrade your wrench and give us some real punch with those! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know how to synthesize. Yup, I know, I know, I know. Try it out, and here's a little something extra for me. Heart! Aw, oh, so cute! The wrench gains six more synthesis points. Well, holy crap. Let's go upgrade a weapon for Max. All right. Uh, let's actually do that, because I don't know how good his weapon is right now. Uh, his weapon's actually not bad, but attack, flame, lightning, smash, scale. All right, let's, let's make two of each, since I don't know what exactly is required here. So, there's two. Well, I'll do two of each until I get a threshold. So, I don't have enough of her flames. Let's just spectrumize the last two. I think that's another thing that drove me a little batty with this game. Um, I don't... I don't think it's necessarily bad, but, like, there's a lot of loading screens or animations like this that you kind of can't skip, like this. I mean, it's 
it's pretty, it's cool, I, I get it, but after so many hours of watching it, like, you know, it's like, come on, man, just, just hurry up. I, I, I don't need the pretty animation every single time. Okay, lightning is good, so we need smash and scale. It's a nice day today. I wanted to uh, record earlier because it's not storming, um, but it is raining pleasantly, and uh, I love rain. I, I love rain. One of my favorite things, which uh, one of our channel regulars, Archmage Kalen, likes too, is the uh, uh, we both love it when it rains or especially storms, and it's storming in the game we're playing at the same time. Oh, it's the best. It is the freaking best. Ooh, it is raining. Oh, the rain's picking up. Ah, oh, it's more, it's more rain! Yay, rain! Not storming, but yay, rain. I'll take any rain over no rain. Alright, so we're missing attack and flame. I've got one attack here. The main way you level up attack is to level up the weapon itself. Okay. Yep, still short both. So, oops. So, um, I just noticed I can view a spectrumized. Pre Where are my bombs? Oh, there they are. I can uh, preview the spectrumized by just doing that. I mean, I could. Tr well, yeah. Why not, Max? Let's let's burn off the bombs because. I mean, we've got technically infinite bombs, and we're not using them for anything right now, so let's use it to uh, buff up your weapon a little bit. Okay, so we reached the threshold with everything except attack, so we'll just have uh, Max fight these creatures so he can um, get some experience points and level up that drill. At some point, I am going to have to do a concentrated grinding session to get What's-His-Bucket up. Uh, Steve. Ooh, and this is useful, too. I've got myself a healing ditch. So, you can use the healing ditches. Okay. You can use the healing things as much as you want. Which is good, because Max is almost dead immediately. But a little bit of this, and that problem just took care of itself. Usually the first time you see a monster, you should just kind of hang out for a second and watch his attack pattern. Ugh! What's the acorn? What does that do? Oh, it's a healing item. Okay. Alright. Yep. You know, distance attacks are best for these guys, so I can... Get around their stupid... Their stupid nonsense. There we go. Some of Max's later weapons are really cool, because you get into, like, bazookas and such, where you're just shooting freaking fire, like a flamethrower or whatever, out of your, uh, out of your gun. It's fantastic. We've got a long way to go before we get there, unfortunately. I'm gonna try to remember between episodes this time to pull up, um... 
a game fact because I do not remember how to do something. Ooh, pop in. Oh man, I don't remember the pop in being that bad, but the last time I really played this, it's like it's a PlayStation 2 era game. I mean, pop in wasn't. Pop in was just something you freaking dealt with. Well, that's my fault for not healing. Hold on, buddy. So only uh, Max can ride the ride pods, so... Only Max can ride the ride pod, so with Max down, I don't even have that option anymore. I think I've been neglecting uh, Max's training a little bit. Come on, put it down. The hell? Someone told me triangle was a quick move? No, that's a, that's a stack split. Why can't I put it in there? Huh, maybe I just can't put roasted chestnuts on the hot bar. Well. I don't know why I put Max's camera here either. Like, I mean, it's great, but I'm not really taking photographs right now. Alright. Ah, shit, those are bombs. Yep. This enemy sucks ass. I'm also being a bit more aggressive than I need to be. Let's look into upgrading her off weapon. I can increase the flame or I can increase the cyclone. Well, since we're here, I would rather increase the flame. So you can eventually have multiple items that would occupy the same slot. Um, I, I don't usually find a use for it for the main weapon, but for the off weapon, especially for Monica, it makes a lot of sense. So you would, you know, create a good fire elemental weapon, um, and then you would create a good, uh, you know, ice weapon and so on and so on. And then switch at will depending on what kind of creature you were fighting. Oh man, I can only get in one attack. And then I have to block again. That's obnoxious. If I remember right though, the yeah, the block is an animation interrupt, so if I get paranoid I can just quickly hit it and that should be enough. Ooh, got an antidote drink out of that. Unfortunately, the healing pod doesn't help uh, incapacitated characters, so even though I've got, uh, even though Max is down and I just had Monica do that, he's still down. Can't switch to Max here. Yeah. Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll get him nice and healed up once we get the hell out of here. Alright, do I have a rock? That was a good strategy the last time. Oh, look at her little feet. I don't remember her ponytail being that animated in the original. So I wonder if they upgraded that for the remake. For the remaster. That's the way to do it without taking damage. Man, I love consistent enemies in games like this because if you have a consistent enemy 
then part of the enjoyment of the game is learning how the enemies move and figuring out how to counter them. Monster Hunter does that really freaking well. Uh, Kalo has been wanting me to play Monster Rancher for the longest time, and I do. I like my Monster Rancher World. Or Monster Rancher. Monster Hunter World. I like it, but um, Monster Hunter has never fully grabbed me. Although Monster Hunter World has done a damn good job, and in fact. I think I would play Monster Hunter more often if I didn't have an MMO, because they kind of require the same time sync, and, uh, you know, like, Monster Hunter is basically a localized MMO. It feels like a Diablo-type game, and I enjoy it, but I would rather play Final Fantasy XIV in any given situation than Monster Hunter. Um, but Monster Hunter is also far more action-packed, too, so I could see it being more of an appeal uh, to a certain, you know, subset of gamers, depending on your taste in a particular genre. Um, this game kind of scratches a similar itch because it is, even though this is a single-player, very large MM, or, uh, RPG that uh, is very craft fo crafting-focused, it's also action-oriented, and it's very approachable. So, I, I love Dark Cloud 2. I've always found it really fun, really fun. It's not in my top whatever games, not because of a lack of quality, per se, uh, but because I didn't grow up with it. I believe by the time I played Dark Cloud 2 the first time, I think the PlayStation 3 was out? Could that be true? No, because I was, I was still at my house. I was still a kid, because the game came out in 2003, so... And I didn't, I didn't play it on release. I don't know. It's... I don't know when I last played it, but... I mean, it made a good impression on me. It just didn't fully 100% grab me as this, you know, thing that I always needed to pay attention to. For whatever reason. Um, there are there are a lot of games that are good that I even consider good now that I just missed the boat on for whatever reason. All right, what are the medals for? There is a reason for the medals. I think I cashed them in somewhere for special items or something. All right, let's see if Eric has a uh, is ready for any more bombs. I don't remember how many points he gains. Maybe it's. it's X number per floor or something. Uh, I can't check his status until I add him to the party, unfortunately. 34 skill points. Okay, so... Make me some bombs, buddy. Alright. So, since I'm between cuts anyway... Come on, talk to him again. I'm going to go ahead and look up some information. Hopefully this doesn't futz up everything on my recording. Hold on a sec. I have to recharge my phone. That's the problem with using my phone is my uh, stopwatch. Okay, I'm opening Google. Hello, Momiji. That is a naughty picture I took of you. I mean, uh, hashtag not a pervert. Yeah, I, I actually trust Game Facts over IGN wikis at this point. IGN wikis are changing uh, their style soon-ish, so not exactly happy with the direction they're going. Um, let's see, Dark Cloud Two. Forty FAQs, cool. I uh, don't want to see any of that. Don't want to see any of that. Don't want to see any of that. Photography invention guide. That's what I need. <sighs> there are 128 inventions. Holy crap. Uh, footwear. Oh, this is categorized by item. Checklists. Chapter 1. Okay. That I can use. So I'm not going into full um, 
Uh, oh, I guess I should add this as a bookmark. I'm not going into full... Uh, how do I want to describe it? I, do, I, I don't care about 100% completion. Um, which is probably good because... Uh, I've already missed two things. So, it's whatever. There are 120 ideas in chapter one. Oh my god. That's so many things. Here we go. Bread is... Fireplace, Polly's Bakery sign, and Wheat Flour. Okay, I think I've got all those things. Didn't realize I still had pictures left. Uh, delete all useless photos. Okay, idea to invent. So, and you can do it in any order. So, Polly's Bakery sign... Oh, I don't have a fireplace. All right, hold on. Guess we gotta go back to town. Because I do want to get that so I can start making my own bread. Uh, palm brinks. I don't know if the loading times are any faster now either. Like, it's it, it's been that long since I've played that uh, I just don't care. Even though it's at night, everything is still open, which is nice. And I guess now I do need Max's, uh, camera, don't I? What is it? R1, circle, triangle. Do I have to have your stupid camera on the... Equip? I'm not putting it there, I'm putting it in slot 3. Nope. There it is, it's square. Okay, so... Oh god. Uh, it's uninverted. Oven? The oven? Not the fireplace. That's weird. Let's see if oven works anyway. Um, wheat flour? Okay. Wheat flour's not shown either? Aw. Never mind. Um, is there wheat flour here? Hmm. Now you guys are probably seeing why the hell I wanted to do it this way. <sighs> Does not say where to find any of this stuff. Alright, um... Crap. Let's see if there's another FAQ that has that information. Please tell me I don't have to have two FAQs constantly. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh, I do! I do have to have two FAQs going because one shows the location of the shit and one says what to do with the shit once you found it. Ah, oh, FAQ writers, you guys should have gotten together and made a super fact that... Let me deal with this, but at least I can control F the shit out of this. So, all right, so let me first find fireplace. Fireplace is in Claire's house or Max's house. Can I get to Max's house? I don't think anyone's seen Max's house yet. Uh, let's see, where else is fireplace? Nowhere, okay. Oh, but I have to be in chapter two? Really? But it says I could do it in chapter one. I don't understand. Okay. Oh, whatever. Let's go to Claire's or Max's house. Can I view their locations on a map? Sure as hell can't, unless there is a way and I just don't know what the map button is. All right. Well, whatever. All right. So then where's wheat flour? Morton's item shop. There are white bags near the door. Okay. Let's see the white bag. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now... Uh, oh, there we go. Got those. Delete, and delete, okay, 
Let's see if the oven works anyway. I can't imagine it wouldn't. It's a friggin' oven. Oven, Polly's Bakery sign, and wheat flour. Now this is a nice little hint when you get one wrong. You'll think of something soon. Idea. It's like, that, that's a cool way to do a hint in-game with how to find some of these inventions. All right, so we got, we've got to find Claire's house, and we've got to find, uh... All right, so let's control F, fireplace. In Max's house, go into Max's father's room and take a picture of the fireplace. Where the tits is... Oh, right, Max is super rich. He lives up on the hill. Uh, we haven't been up here yet. So Max lives in this swanky part of town. That's the church, right? I Is this the church or is this actually Max's house? Sounds like a church. It is a church. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, what else do we have that we can make? Cannonball arm, cannonball arm two, caterpillar, clown body. Oh my god, I can make this thing look like a clown? Oh, but it's too late, they're all missable. Alright, fair enough. That's, that's fine, I don't care. Um, if I play the game again- Why is my camera locked in that angle? I wonder if my camera was locked in that angle, so it was hiding a load. I- Bet you that's why it did that. If it did, if that's why it was just like that, that's actually kind of clever. Let's see if it does that on the way back. Because you can see I can't see anything to the left. Stuff's popping in. Yeah, I bet you it's doing that to hide a load. Because I can't move the camera from here. That's really clever. That is a super clever way to hide a loading screen. And now it's switched again, and now I can see. Oh, Dark Cloud 2. There are times when you continue to surprise me. Oh, you're such a good game. All right, this is Max's house. He lives in a super mansion. I-I-R-C. There's a bunch of crap in his room I can take a picture of, too. Actually, having this guide's kind of useful, uh, or the two guides, because the one... Shows you not only exactly where everything is, but when it's introduced. So now I just have to find my dad's room in this freaking nonsense of a place. Uh, there's the dining room where Tiny Max stormed out a while ago. I like Max. Like, he doesn't... There's a lot of tropes that are dodged in this game. Like, the trope of the rich kid who turns out to be less of a douchebag eventually, or realizes that his, uh... realizes that, like, your your wealth doesn't matter. Um, by the way, just in case anyone's watching this, I want to give credit to these FAQ writers, because they're friggin' awesome. So, the one is by... Ben Blank, a.k.a. Dark Rider. You did freaking amazing. This is a professional guide writer saying this as if you care or are hearing this. And the other one is written by, I don't know, because they didn't put their name on it. A uh, Cure Sale? K-U-R-S-A-A-L? Cure Sale? Cure Sale? Anyway. Um, yeah, all right. Oh, did I go in this door? I have to find his dad's room, gotta find a fireplace. Fireplace! Boom! A boom! A boom! Alright. So, move all items. Well, I can just do that. And then, wheat flour and Polly's bakery sign. Alright, so now. Yeah, it works! Yeah! So now I can, uh, I'm sorry. So now I can, uh, make bread. So I just need, oh, damn it, I need, 
I need fire elements? Ah, oh, you're killing me. It's still cheaper to do it that way, but that's more crap I have to buy. <laughs> oh, Max, we done goofed. All right, let's see um, if there's anything else I need here. All right, the inventions are Aquarium, Bandit, Bessard, Bell Trigger, that's a gun, Bomb, Bread, Cannonball Arms for uh, Steve, Caterpillar, which is also for Steve. I don't mind buying those. Energy Packs. Um, energy Pack Barrel. That might be useful, because I think that's an upgrade of a normal Energy Pack. So that is a... Barrel, Belt, and Tray. Barrel, Belt... I'm going to be embarrassed if I haven't taken a picture of a tree yet. I haven't taken a picture of a tree yet. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go outside, Max. But, yeah, Max doesn't flaunt his wealth, and he doesn't have any, like, hang-ups about it. It's like, he was born into being rich, whatever. He's more concerned about doing things he wants to do and helping the world. Tree. Guy. Are you... Wow, you don't want your picture taken, do you, Gordon? And fence is a thing. Oh, gate? I didn't realize gate was a thing. I know fence is a thing. There we go. The control scheme for doing that's a little strange. Alright. So we've got tree... Barrel and belt. Alright, so... Just because I invented it doesn't mean I can afford to make it, unfortunately. Ten rolling logs, thirty scraps of metal. I can eventually get that stuff fairly easily. I just can't do it yet. After dealing with this forest area, a lot of this stuff falls into place because you can start buying a lot of the elements that you need for um, to make this stuff. Grenade launcher? I can make a grenade launcher? Well, why am I wasting time not making a grenade launcher when I could be making a grenade launcher? Hold on a minute. All right, grenade launcher is chimney, egg, and fountain. Uh, I do not have the chimney, I do not have the egg, I do have the fountain. Alright, so, now that I know that, we switch back to the other FAQ, and we go, Egg, where is the egg? Not find the golden egg. Egg. In the Dell Clinic in Palm Brinks, it's inside a nest on a high shelf in the clinic. What? Where is the clinic? Oh. Was the clinic in the main part of the house? I wonder if this has a map of... Let's see... See, I'm seeing maps of, um... Like, the build-up charts, so you can see exactly how things evolve and such. And I don't... I don't want that. Shops FAQ? Does this list it? Items. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. This will list it. Okay. Um. Gordon, Polly, Mullane, Ferdinand. Alright, wait. Who's. Dell Clinic. Alright. Search for Clinic. No hits. Dell? There we go. Dr. Dell. <sighs> to. Talk to him after going to Lynn's house. Who the fuck is Lynn? Come on, man. Help me out here. Ah. I don't know who Lynn is. It says talk to him after going into Lynn's house. It, it, Who's Lynn? Where the tits is the doctor's office? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to poke around some of these houses so I can... Uh, oh, can't go into that one, apparently. 
I'm gonna have to... Oh, is all of that background? Apparently so. Hi, who are you? I bet those man-eating grass have real creepy smiles. Isn't that fascinating? Alright. Well, this isn't a clinic. This is a clinic. We've got, a. Uh... Alright. You know what? Let's just Google search this. Dark Cloud 2, uh, start- where the f- oh, Palm Brinks, I think? Palm Brinks map, maybe? I don't know where the tits I am right now. There we go! Oh, 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 yes, thank you. Thank you, Google! Where would we be without you? Holy crap, this is in Japanese. Oh... Uh... That's not helpful. In this... <laughs> oh, I can't use Japanese, man. Help me out a little bit more. Uh, locations in... That is not Dark Cloud 2. <sighs> Wait. That's Baldur's Gate. Why Baldur's Gate? What? Oh my god, I forgot about that outfit for Monica. Thank you, game. Yep, we're dressing Monica in that. Hashtag not a pervert. Okay, uh... Damn it. Really? There's no map of... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not getting my town name wrong. Palm Brinks. Okay, good. Palm Brinks map. Palm Brinks world map. Dark Cloud Wiki. Where did the maps go? I don't think there was a map for Palm Brinks, but I could be wrong. There's another small chest in... F okay. Shows the location. What? There's a small chest in front of the police station. If you go to the help menu and read about power-ups, I think it shows the location of the chests in Palm Brinks. What? Okay, that's silly. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. Wait. Palm Brinks Residence. Is that actually showing me my location? Above the little picture-in-picture? Picture? No, because it's just saying Palm Brinks Residence. Palm Brinks Residence. This one thing looks like it has a blood drop on it. Maybe this is the clinic. Are you a clinic? You might be a clinic. What the hell am I looking for again? Wait a minute. I'm looking for egg. In Dell Clinic in Palm Brinks, inside a nest on a high shelf on... In the clinic. Okay, how about we search for Dark Cloud 2 Dell Clinic? Dr. Dell. Dark Cloud Wiki. Useful. Oh god, I forgot about him. Dr. Dell can be found inside the building near the pond, which can be left... Okay. So I'm in the wrong area entirely. Alright. Man. All right. Come on, Max. Now do you guys see why I'm doing the why I'm doing the cut version? Like, you know, here's why I didn't mind doing this because this is going to require a lot of editing or might require a lot of editing on my part. Um and I just didn't like I didn't know how much editing I would have to do to do two series. And that's why for this one uh, for the most part, you're basically just getting me blathering, and that's friggin' it. Um, th that's it, because this is gonna be a lot of freaking time to just sit here and do nothing. But you asked for it, so if you want it, you're the one who wanted this. All right. It's, uh... Oh, oh, that's it. That's that's the building, because it has uh. Dr. Dell's friggin' face on it. Yep. 
That is Dr. Dell's face. Why does he look like a duck, you may ask? Because he's a duck. Dr. Dell is a duck. Why is Dr. Dell a duck? Hello, Vivi. Why is Dr. Dell a duck? Reasons. Okay? Reasons. <sighs> I'm gonna have to have all sorts of shit open while I do this series. Alright, so I'm in the clinic. Uh, oh, there's the egg. I see it. It's above my head. Ew, eyeballs. Boop. Egg. Let's grab a bunch of other shit while we're in here. Ugh. Bottle. You. Hi, Dr. Dell. Chair. Painting. Painting. The light isn't something. Lamp. More lamps. Flower. At least we got the flower at the same time. Book? Book! More books! Table. More flowers. Window? Window! Photography level increased! Chair! I don't know what my photography level is! Alright, let's move all this crap in here. Awesome. Delete that shit. Delete all of this shit. Okay. The hell am I me? Oh, grenade launcher. Oh, I still need a chimney. Ah, crap. Alright, where's the chimney? Chimney. Uh, do, 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 On the roof of Polly's Bakery. Okay, at least that I know where it is. Fuck off, Dr. Dell. We are going to Polly's Bakery. <sighs> All this for a grenade launcher. Man, I, I gotta tell ya. You know, what do you want? Why are you here? Why do I miss the moon so much? I wonder if it, that's where I came from. Okay, bye. Alright, to Polly's Bakery I go. Excuse me, sir. I, I don't know what you want. I should be saving so I don't lose anything. But this is why, especially for games like this, um, like, there's no threat in the overworld. You can't die out here. So, uh, it, it's kind of okay not to save. Um, if it was storming, I'd be saving. Um, but like... You know, it, it's why I save before and after leaving every floor, but especially the before, because if I've done a lot of work out in the world like this, and, um, then I, uh, die in a dungeon, I'd have to do all of this nonsense again, and it's like, uh, no. Alright, there's the chimney, I can probably just do it from here. Nope. 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 Hmm. Really? Got it. Just had to get a little closer. <sighs> oh, gosh. Having the guide is so much better. I would actually 100 per- or I would attempt to 100% the game if I had the guide the whole time. Except, there are no achievements for doing so in this game, so I'm a little less interested in 100%ing it. Because, like, why? Alright, so we've got ourselves a chimney, an egg, and a, uh, fountain. Is that a personal weapon, or is it a weapon for Steve? Oh my god, that's a personal weapon. Is that what you're gonna say when you nuke somebody from orbit with that thing? Oh my god, I just need two gunpowder and I can make it. <laughs> ah, we're buying gunpowder from Eric the second we get back to the forest. Alright, uh, iron leg, I don't know what that is. Night boots, light speed? What is light speed? Candle, flower, and rock. Uh, I should have a candle. Really? I don't have a candle? Do I have a rock? I don't have a rock. Wow, I did nothing with, this with the photos the last session. Alright, candle... Oh, I couldn't get it to chapter two anyway. Candles are in the church. In the church in Palm Springs, across the drawbridge, it is a candle. Yes, thank you. Thank you, FAQ. I wonder if he felt as dumb writing that as I felt as reading it. But I can tell you as a professional guide writer, sometimes you have to dumb things down. Um, rather than just say, take a picture of a candle. It is a candle. Like, yeah. Yeah, it is. 
<laughs> yeah, it is. It is most certainly a candle. All right. So, let's... Oh, those are candles, too. I mean, I figured it'd be like candelabra or something like that. Chandelier. Figure. Priest Bruno. This is very churchy music. No, not the candle. Okay, well. Oh, there's a thing. Flower. Never mind. Not a thing. And now the stupidest thing I've ever had to look up in a guide before. I need to find where I can find a rock. So, rock, rock, rock. Uh, rock. It is incendane on the ground. It is a rock. Thank you. Thank you so much for that guide writer. Uh. Sindane is, um, the forest, right? So we're gonna have to move over there. I may have to move back then in a minute, but that's that's fine. Oh, it might be Sindane itself rather than just the station. I will have to take a look. Uh, oh, first, let's go buy gunpowder from Eric. Because I want to make myself a grenade launcher and start using that bitch. <laughs> buy gunpowder, I just need two units, buddy. Ah, oh, it's only 20 a piece? Aha! Ah, oh, the best $40 I've ever spent in my life. All right, Max, time to make ourselves a goddamn grenade launcher. Oh, I'm so happy. Equip that shit. Whoops. Oh, yeah. That is unnecessary, probably. Attack power on the gun was 12. Attack power on the grenade launcher is 25! <laughs> okay! And it needs a whole bunch of crap to, up to upgrade. Uh, let's add a sly clone. Whoops. A cyclone wind crystal. Holy crap! Alright. Eh. I'm gonna check on it, even though I know I can't upgrade it. Nope, it's still not enough. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so, next I need to find a rock. Hey, maybe it's this giant thing. That's not a rock. Okay. That's not a rock either, apparently. Could have fooled me. I guess let's go into Sindane itself. Yes, please. Oh, that's funny. Alright. I'm not even monitoring my own video anymore. There we go. Oh, God, I've been talking... I've really been talking for this whole time. How the tits am I gonna find a way to edit some of this down? Oh, no. Because I didn't have my long periods of silence that I said I was gonna have. Oh, no. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to edit. Alright. Uh. Might have an idea how to do it. Okay, so we've got... Let's see... We've got the rock flower. Okay, wolf shit. Oh, please don't have messed up my recording. Oh, please don't have messed up my recording. I will be unhappy. All right, candle flower rock. Candle flower rock. It makes a light speed. Yeah. 
I don't know what that is. Light speed. Bomb that shoots lasers like fireworks? Yes, please. Light element, lightning crystal, holy stone. Okay, so we're gonna have to get a bunch of crap together to make that, but that sounds fun. Alright, uh, swan, don't know what that is. Tasty water, trumpet, gun, work shoes, don't need those. And I pantro petrify amulet, ooh, barrel cannon, that's, that's useful. Um, I need a mushroom, that's the only thing I'm missing from that one, so... Where is a mushroom? Mushroom in future Sunday. Okay, I can't get there yet. So next is bone rapier, bone cloth, and withered. Don't want to state that one. That's going to be a bit of a spoiler. Can't get that yet either. Uh, double pudding. Find the golden egg. Oh, that's a scoop. I, I don't care. Leather shoes, lure rod. Okay, so we're good. We're we're done. We're we're ready to move on. Thank God. All right. Plus, we need to go test out the freaking grenade launcher. Did I ever actually buy bread while I was in town? Nope. Sure didn't. All right, here you go, Max. Take the bread. Looks like we're moving back to the city for a minute. The move menu is very useful. Um, I'm kind of being a little in a fit. Oh, damn, that was like an inside. I was going to take a fucking drink of Dr. Pepper. Ugh, hashtag not sponsored. I love how I said there's going to be long periods of silence, and, like, that is the exact opposite of what I've done today. Ugh. Hi, Polly. Tasty water. Wow, that's really expensive. Let's not buy any of that. Okay. And we'll just give Max the rest of this bread. Okay. So now you can say move and you can go straight to the dungeon, which is cool. And you even have that. Like, D is dungeon, S is um, station, G is georama, uh, question mark is whatever, but usually a town. So um, that way you can just jump right into it rather than having to go through a whole bunch of rig uh, rigmarole. Ooh, but I can't save here. That's interesting. I cannot save when I take a move like that. All right. Well, it's not really a huge problem. It just means that I need to remember to save if I'm going to move that way or actually move there first because I definitely don't want to enter the next floor without having saved first. All right. Okay, this is going to be the first dungeon with seal. Uh, attack and defeat all enemies using only Monica's magic. Yes, we will do that. But you saw the blinking seal icon when we started to go into this floor of the dungeon, and you will see what that's all about in just a second. Oh, excuse me, I just drank some Dr. Pepper, and now I'm a little belchy. I don't know if I'm going to worry about casting magic on every enemy yet. Um... Okay, this floor appears to have a red seal on it. Max has been chosen by the red stone. You can't switch to him. This means Monica's not only the only one who can fight, but we don't have a backup in case she goes down. So I have to be a lot more cautious in this dungeon than I was in uh, the previous floor. So Monica takes the bread, and I will do what I can to get magic, but 
Oh yeah, I forgot that she's got a charge. Ah. She's got a charge element to the... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm not going to worry about the challenge. I need to get through it in one piece. Eventually, uh, like, those challenges are not based off any particular level. So, like, defeat all enemies using only Ma Monica's magic. Like, I can wait until I've got the ultimate super weapon of her bracelet to just go in and just torch everybody I see. And it'll pass the challenge. Um, and especially since we can't turn in those medals yet anyway, it's just not worth it for me. Ow. Do I have to magic you? Boy, this is annoying as hell. Seems to be the only thing I can do, though. Because I can't do shit. He's constantly guarding. Let's see if I can circle behind him. That's the solution. I've got to get around him. Oh, careful there, Monica. Don't backflip directly into a friggin' second enemy. Fighting the tortoises is really damaging to her weapon because there is an, uh, a statistic called ele uh, durability and that affects what exactly damages the weapon. And since these tortoises have hard shells, it's taking more hit points off of the weapon with a strike. Uh, some weapons that have high smash rates can counter that. Um, but... Monica's weapon by design is not a smash weapon. Oh, I found a bread. Oh, but I don't have any room left. Oh, I thought the item stayed, though, so I could consume a bread real quick and then I'd be good. God damn it. Fucking die. Stupid plants. That's how we do. <sighs> More tortoises. Oh, come on. You can tell from all those extra attacks I tend to hammer the uh, attack. Ooh, healing coin. I don't know what that does. Oh, I can spectrumize it. Which does nothing. I don't know what it does. I guess I'll hang on to it. Alright. Yeah, not, none of that's gonna help me. Yep, and he's able to insta attack me. He always guards the first one, but not any follow ups. Just gonna have to take our lumps and do it this way, Monica, unfortunately. Alright, so may as well use this stuff. I may have to break into back to town after this to get some more healing um, or repair powders, unless I get lucky and found some, find some out in the field. Do I have a branch? I do not have the branch. 
uh, once you finish a level, the seal is done. So when we come back to this floor, Max will be able to participate. And that's useful because he will be able to beat those turtles a lot easier than Monica can, since his weapon is a smush weapon. Oh, there's nothing behind the gate anyway over there. It's just a room with nothing in it. No chests, no enemies, no healing items. Aha! Do you notice now I'm doing a long period of silence? <laughs> It'll help me out when I have to edit this video. The chest was empty. Link just had a spasm. Can I upgrade her weapon again? I can't remember what it needs. Exorcism. Yeah, I got a thing. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do two at a time. There we go. Now I can make it a broadsword. Whoops. Ooh, it even looks like the master sword a little bit. Okay, three ways here. I can go cyclone beast and scale, chill lightning and scale, or flame beast and scale. Hmm, choices, choices. Well, let's keep going up the windy... Uh, the, the wind path. Just, just, why not? Again, this is how I build stuff up. It, oh, shit. Wait, was that the right one? No, this is the one I meant to do. Oops. Anyway, um... Wait, what? That does durable. Okay, that's not what I want. I'll probably give that to Max. That way his weapon is nice and strong. Although I tend to use Monica more, so really I should I should just give her this. Increase her durability of her weapon a bit. Okay, still need Cyclone. Okay, we got Cyclone, but we still need Beast and Scale, but she does not have any synthesis points left on the weapon, so there's nothing I can do right now. Until it levels up again.
We got them all. This next floor is a checkpoint, not actually a dungeon floor, and there will be some stories, so let's check it out. Well, at least we found the search party, but uh There they are. The whole lot of them. Hold on. Something's up. Huh? Yeah, something weird's going on. Let's try talking to them. Well, okay. Okay, whoa. It's probably not good that there's a save point right there, but we just saved, so... We should be alright. Hey, buddy. How are things going? Ah, rat. Everyone's gone all weird. The fish aren't biting. What a drag. What happened to him? Beats me. I got separated from my three buddies, and when I saw them again, they were like that. They won't go anywhere, you see. So I'm just killing time with a little fishing. Although, you know what? I'm uh, pretty thirsty. You wouldn't have something to drink now, would you? I absolutely would. Something smells good, that's for sure. <laughs> How can you smell it through a glass bottle with a cork? I mean... Oh, whatever. Ah, this'll do nicely. Just what I wanted. Thanks. Here, you can have my rod. Take some time for fishing. It'll clear your head. Absolutely not. I love the pop animation. Come back any time if you run out of bait. Uh, right. Don't care. Don't care. Super don't care, sir. Super don't care. Some days you catch them, some days you can't. Don't worry about the bait, though. I ain't going back. I'm gonna live here forever. There's nothing I think- there, there ain't a thing you can do about it. This place is amazing. Just being here gives me this incredible feeling of happiness. Ain't no way we're going back. I'm happy here. Just go away and leave me alone. Alright. Bye. Um, I don't- think I need to fish Oh man, I don't fully remember what I need to do. Let's just move on for now. What is this? Oh my god, I forgot about this creature. Boy, when things come back to me in this game, they come back hard. Hi, buddy. Hey, isn't that Master Utan? You know that thing? Is it safe to go closer? Yeah, it's all right. He's a pretty well-behaved monster. He doesn't hurt people. But it looks like something's wrong with him. Is he okay? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Humans, hmm? We don't see them every day. 
Now that I think about it, there was another half pint bumbling around earlier. This forest's starting to get nice and crowded these days. Never mind that. You look like you're in pain. What happened? It's pitiful, really, but I was awful hungry and somehow got my hands on the forbidden fruit. I'm not sure what's when causing the visual the artifacts that you see above Max's head, like but it's just and I couldn't move. a thing that's happened since the remake. My fault for messing with the Holy One's food. I'll bet the Holy One must be pretty ticked off right about now. So you ate one of these, huh? It's a poison apple. No wonder you don't feel so good. Never mind. Don't worry. You'll feel better after you rest for a while. By the way, who's this holy one? The holy one is a great fish who's brought happiness to this forest. A holy fish? Monica, maybe this has something to do with those three back there. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to understand now. This holy one must have bewitched those three somehow. I bet the Holy One is really a big fish monster. Well then, Master Utan, where can we find this Holy One? Didn't you see a big old swamp on your way here? They say the Holy One lives in that swamp. I haven't seen him myself yet. Swamp, huh? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I remember. Let me see. A big fishy monster named the Holy One that hangs out in the swamps bewitching people. <laughs> this ought to be fun. You have a weird idea of fun, Monica. Right. Thanks, Master Utan. You've been a big help. Hey, don't forget to mind your manners when you're dealing with the Holy One. Well, it's fine because I'm sure the Holy One is a very uh, elegant creature that can really speak to our hearts and inspire us to live more pious lives. It is the Holy One, Why don't we all. try fishing it out? Do we have to? Huh? Fish it out? Well, we've got a fishing rod. We know the Holy One likes poison apples. Ugh. And we've got plenty of bait. Ugh. Let's give it a try. Go do we on, have to? Try. No, I don't want to do fishing uh, mini games. Okay. Ah, yeah, I know how to do it. Okay, thank you. Hi, Monica. Let's uh, sub you out. And then we go here, and then we go here, and then we go here, and then we go here. Oh, never mind. It's a weapon. Got it. And then, oh, bait. Okay, then we grab our poison apples that we've got a ton of. Okay, let's uh let's waste some time, shall we? Hey, I hooked a fish with a poison apple, hooray. Max, you're starting to lose your feats a little bit. Well, I'm sure a tiny fish is no match for you, huh? Yep, tiny and, um... What's going on here? Elegant. Hook stuck in my beautiful lips. Is Ugh. I won't forgive this. Ugh. Why the teeth? Why the fishy the teeth? The made the little ones act so strangely. I love how nonplussed uh, Monica is about that. this whole situation. No, oh, yes. More victims of my beauty. Really, beauty can be a curse, you know. Ugh. Anyway, why are you here? I already told you. I want you to change those little furbits back to the way they were. 
Well, such a thing would be quite simple, my dears. But nothing comes for free, you know. Business is business, and everything's business. Oh, Ugh. Boy, this is gonna be another pain. Sure is, Monica. So what do you want us to do? Ooh, so the little boy understands too. Listen carefully, then. I won't say this again. Mwah. As everyone knows, I'm very fond of beautiful things. But here's the thing. Recently, you know, I've become a bit, well, dirty. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But listen to this. There's a fish called the Pristine Fish that can clean up all the dirt from my body. So what I'd like you to do is go over there and catch it for me. You've got all that fishing gear, so you may as well use it, don't you think? Well, do you get my drift? <laughs> A pris clean fish? Okay, and when we get it, we want you to return those three back to normal. Yes, I know, I know. You don't have to tell a man twice. What? You're a guy? I'll be waiting. Oh, the early aughts. Well, I guess this is... Oh, God. Let's just turn the camera this way. I uh, guess that's what we're doing in the next episode. We're going to be fishing up some crap and regretting our life choices. Dark Cloud 2, everybody. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.